Hey, the geek here. Um, sorry, I've not made a video in a while. It's been, it's been busy. I'll say that. Um, basically, I just work too much. But enough of that. Um, we're just gonna talk about movies, and we're gonna focus on the good, not the bad. Okay. Uh, so it's been a couple months since my last video, and uh, so I just picked a movie for each month, basically. So, uh, you're getting three for the price of one. In November, uh, The Muppets came out. Um, going into this movie, I was not thinking that, um, I was not thinking that I was gonna like this movie. I mean, it looked cute, it looked fun, but I mean, I didn't really know. I didn't grow up with The Muppets, okay? Uh, I didn't know a whole lot going, um, going into it, uh, they were just kind of nostalgic or whatever, I guess. I mean, like, they were always there. I just never knew a whole lot about the Muppets growing up. Um, and so, basically, uh, it is about Jason Siegel and Amy Adams and, uh, Jason Siegel's brother, Walter, who is a Muppet, try to save the old Muppet theater from a oil tycoon who is played by Chris Cooper, who is who plays a very good bad guy. And basically they're trying to reunite the Muppets and get the old gang back together and everything. And all the Muppets have gotten, uh, they haven't gotten old, but time has forgotten about them. Basically they've all moved on. They're not doing, uh, they're not doing their Muppet thing anymore. So basically it's, uh, it's a getting the gang back together and, you know, showing that they can still do this. And uh, the, I was pleasantly surprised with this movie. This movie is very, very fun. It's cute. Uh, definitely has that Muppet flair to it from what I remember, because I've seen a couple of the Muppet movies. Uh, it's got that also nice Disney flair to it where it's definitely for kids and adults. There's definitely some things that will go over kids' heads, but at the same time it's like, oh, it's Muppets, it's fun! Yay! Um, yeah. I just, I really liked the movie. Also, what I liked about it was the fact that um, there was all kinds of like little cameos, like Selena Gomez was in it, which that's Disney. Whoopi Goldberg, she's been, she's done some stuff with the Muppets before. Uh, Neil Patrick Harris and uh, Josh Rudner, I think I said his name right. They're both from How I Met Your Mother, which makes sense because Jason Segel's also in it, so almost the whole cast of How I Met Your Mother was in it. Just making little cameos and stuff like that, popping in and out. Mickey Rooney is also in it. And just, uh, I also liked the, um, the out-of-the-box feeling about this movie like they were completely aware of the stuff that they were doing like the whole we're traveling by map and then you know you see them pointing or whatever and you see the car going along the map because it's faster I don't know it was cute uh, the movie is no longer in theaters uh, but definitely worth a rent maybe maybe if you have some some younger tykes running around might be uh, worth owning I don't know I might buy it I haven't decided uh, that was November. In December, uh, the sequel to Sherlock Holmes came out. Um, Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Shadows. And, uh, basically, all I can say is this is, uh, RDJ, Robert Downey Jr., you know, doing what he does best, uh, playing another role that I enjoy him in. Uh, I can say this, I did not like the first Sherlock Holmes movie. I did not care for it. I thought it was just kind of okay and stylized and... Eh, whatever. So going into this, I was just kind of like, you know, I hope this is good. I hope it's better than the second one. It looks more fun. Um, and it was, uh, it was, it was good. It was really, really good. I felt like it was better structured. Went with my friend, Tim Strohshine. What's up? Uh, he is my Sherlock know-all. He, uh, he told me, like he explained me, or explained to me that they, uh, they use more characters from the, uh, from the uh, Sherlock Holmes world, like uh, um, Stephen Fry plays Sherlock Holmes' brother, which is kind of fun, uh, and I can't, gosh darn it, it slips me. I'll write it down here, whoever the, uh, the uh, they use Professor Moriarty's right-hand man, who's like a super sniper, he's also in the, uh, he's also in the film, but basically uh, Professor Moriarty is trying to use, he's trying to get everybody into into war with each other and he's gonna make profits off selling arms dealing and Sherlock Holmes has to stop it and it is awesome it is uh, yeah I also like the fact that Ma Rachel McAdams supposedly it seemed like she was gonna the be in the movie and then all of a sudden like boom she's not in the movie she dies off like right off in the uh, right in the beginning I like that I think that's fun that's just like well it sucks that she's not in it but it makes it so it's not just like the first movie um, <clears throat> But, I guess I just want to say that, like, 
this I think maybe what helped is I didn't I didn't think it was going to be good walking into it and then all of a sudden like uh yeah it was it was a solid film it was solid uh yeah Jared uh Jared Harris also did a good job he played Moriarty he was creepy I liked the whole uh chess match at the end and then the judo flip over the waterfall Tim also explained to me that's how Sherlock Holmes supposedly dies but then later shows back up in the books and just like that in the movie he shows back up so that's sweet um and that was December uh and then now in January um I went and saw Underworld so this needs a little explaining also um so I'm really into Underworld I like the uh I like the characters I like the story I like the the world in the underworld I mean I like uh I like the story that they've told so far, um, but I'll be honest, I really didn't care for this one. I thought that it, it looked too... It didn't look enough like the rest of the Underworld films. It felt like it was trying to do its own thing way too much, and uh, I, I'll be honest, I just didn't really care for it. Uh, and here is the problem, I think, is that they killed off all their good characters. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't feel like Kate Beckinsale's character, Selene, can carry a movie. Also, I want to toss this out there. I'll throw the guy's name down here, too, because I can't really remember what his name is. The guy that plays Michael, uh, he was never actually in that movie. That was a CGI person the entire time. I don't know why they decided to do that. I just... I think that that's that's beyond me. I don't know. Maybe they couldn't get him. I just think that's weird. I don't know. I didn't like it. Whatever besides the point it was it was kind of like uh jeff bridges trawny uh arnold schwarzenegger terminator salvation e cgi thing you don't see a very good shot of him it's weird i didn't i didn't like it anyway uh i don't don't believe what the trailers say best underworld underworld film yet i'll say this um if you're into vampire werewolf violence go see it if you're into underworld movies you're not going to care for it as much i don't think it's definitely my least favorite. But I was going in um, thinking that I was going to like it. So maybe I got to do like Muppets and uh, uh, Sherlock Holmes where I just didn't think I was going to like it. And then I ended up liking it a lot more. So yeah, there's three movies for you. And uh, I will be around with more videos, I promise. I hope you guys are having a good day. And uh, I'll see you soon.